Hello guys, it's David here from Channel 5's Milkshake and I am delighted to be announcing that I will be playing the part of Dandini in Cinderella at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool this panto season! Yes! <laughs> I am so excited to bring some Christmas magic to all of you milkshakers up in Lancashire. Cannot wait. Now, as part of our Storytime with Cinderella series of videos, I thought I'd read you my favourite bedtime story before I have a quick nap. And it's called Harry the Happy Mouse by NGK. Just initials. How intriguing. Right, are you ready? Here we go. This is Harry the Happy Mouse. On the crest of a wave and the wisp of the wind, Harry the Happy Mouse was thinking good things. Under a bridge, he lived with his wife. What a lovely day. Wow, this is the life. Every summer's evening, after something to eat, he strolled along the stream to see who he'd meet. The frogs they did croak, and the birds they did tweet, the dogs they did bark, and the sheep they did bleat. Meh! Across the stream, with a step and a jump, an extra long leap to get over a bump. Harry's favourite part of his long summer walks was meeting other animals and having long talks. One sunny evening, whilst walking along, he found a sad frog who was stuck on a log. Help me, I'm stuck! The frog shouted down, quick happy mouse, I don't want to drown. When I jumped up here, it didn't look high. Now I'm up here, right up in the sky. Oh dear. Quick as a flash, Harry climbed to the top. Brave as can be, no thought of the drop. Look here, dear frog, climb on my back. I'll get us back down, back down on the track. Harry climbed down, the frog jumped with glee. Thank you, kind mouse, for rescuing me. You shouldn't thank me, just help someone too. That'll be better for me and for you. But why, said the frog, that doesn't help you. If I help someone else, then who will help you? When you help someone else, it makes you feel grand. So when someone needs help, just give them a hand. Thank you, kind mouse, you've made my day. And if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Whilst hopping back home to his green lily pad, the frog saw a mole who was looking quite sad. What's wrong, asked the frog. Why the big frown? This hole, said the mole, my son's fallen down. <laughs> Oh dear, said the frog. Now what can we do? Don't worry, Mrs. Mole, I will help you. The frog found a stick and the mole found some string. They made a great fishing rod to pull out the young thing. Baby Mole climbed out and his mama jumped with glee. Thank you, kind frog, for rescuing me. You shouldn't thank me, just help someone too. That'll be better for me and for you. But why, said the mole, that doesn't help you. If I help someone else, then who will help you? When you help someone else, it makes you feel grand. So when someone needs help, just give them a hand. The mole carried on with her son in tow. The moonlight twinkled with a beautiful glow. Quickly, young man, you should be in bed, the mole said to her son while resting its head. But wait, said the mole, whatever is that? Upside down in a tree hung a very grumpy bat. Excuse me, Mr. Bat, why are you sad? Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. It is, said the bat with a cry and a quiver. It's my hat, you see. It fell in the river. Oh no, said the mole. It looks like it's stuck. We'll get it back with a plan and some luck. Thanks, said the bat. But what can we do? It's way too far down for me and for you. The mole said, I'll hold my son and you hold me. We can't do it with one, but we might with three. The mole held her son and she held the bat. Before they knew it, they'd rescued the hat. Yes. <laughs> What a great plan, the bat jumped with glee. Thank you, kind mole, for rescuing me. You shouldn't thank me, just help someone too. That'll be better for me and for you. But why, said the bat, that doesn't help you. If I help someone else, then who will help you? When you help someone else, it makes you feel grand. So when someone needs help, just give them a hand. Very well, said the bat, I'll make sure I do. Good night, Mrs. Mole, and to your son too. Everyone's sleeping, so cosy and snug. The cows, the birds, and even the bugs. The very next day, Harry got home from his walk. But Harry was sad, not happy, not glad. What's wrong? asked his wife. Why the big frown? You're normally so happy, but now you seem down. There's no one to help, said Harry the mouse. Not a frog, not a cat, not a mole, nor a grouse. When I help someone else, it makes me feel grand. When there's no one to help, I can't lend a hand. Harry's wife said, come here, I have a surprise, because you're so helpful, so kind and so wise. You see, Harry, that frog you helped, well, he helped a mole and also a cat. She helped a dog and also a rat. The dog helped an owl and the owl helped a bird. The bird helped a cow, in fact, the whole herd. Now everyone's here just to see you, the frog, the mole and the bat too. 
All this kindness is spreading, you see. Now we're all happy, as happy as can be. Wow, said Harry. Look what I've done. I started all this by helping just one. On the crest of a wave and the wisp of the wind, Harry the Happy Mouse had done wonderful things. The end. Oh, I love a happy ending. Now, don't forget that if you want to join in with Storytime with Cinderella, then you can send a photo or a video and make sure you tag at Blackpool Panto. And you never know, you might just win a special family experience with Cinderella at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. How amazing would that be? I'm already jealous. Right, I better get some sleep because the prince wants me to get up at six o'clock in the morning to help him learn how to dance. Six o'clock in the morning? Oh, dearie me. Good night, everybody.